Hello, hello, hello. How are y'all doing today? Still trying to figure out some... Oh my gosh. I can hear myself. Why? There we go. Now I can't hear myself. <coughs> Alrighty. Today, we're going to be going over some substance painter. I haven't touched this thing in a while. Uh, I spent a little bit earlier today trying to figure out how to optimize some geometry so that we won't have to worry about the actual um, like poly count. Hello Paradox, hello, um, how do you pronounce that? Ajani? Ayani? Gardner. But um, let's see here. How are y'all doing today? <clears throat> Just gonna, I'm just checking some things real quick and uh, waiting on people to jump on in. Then we can start this thing shortly. Let's see here. Oh my gosh. Ugh. So, doing good. Uh, just got off school. Cool. Finally, I've been waiting to hear from your lovely voice. Well, thank you, Phantom Raider. It's good to see you again. Hype from Keelan. It is the hype time, my dudes. Big brain hours. This is where it's at. In the middle of a thunderstorm, so I don't expect to last long. Oh, man. Well, hopefully that thunderstorm can pass shortly, and you can join us for a little bit. If not, hopefully it'll be up later. That way you can watch it. Um, although, not live, but still. <coughs> Now, uh, you're going to have to forgive me for a little bit because this is the first time that I've jumped into Substance Painter in a while, so I'm going to be stumbling around this thing as much as you guys probably may or may not. But um, I'm definitely going to be uh, trying to relearn some things. The good thing is that I know what textures I'm going to use. I have them already in a folder, and we're going to be figuring out how to apply them to this terrain. And, um, yeah, I think we can probably get started here in a little bit. Let me switch screens. Cool. Something else I want to mention is that um, this uh, this overlay that I have right now, I'm thinking about changing it up maybe just a little bit, or I might go back to the other overlay that I have and then change uh, fix up that old overlay um, to be a little bit more suited for a full screen type of thing because right now I have the brackets kind of blocking in the corners and this was mainly for uh, a gamer type of uh, overlay. This was designed so that I can play video games. And what I think I might be doing um, is using Twitch in order to use this overlay for strictly games and then using the, over uh, the other overlay strictly for um, just working on stuff like this. That way everybody can see all the UI. It won't be blocked by the icons over here on the left or, you know, the corners and whatnot because that's kind of important when you're working on stuff and you want to learn how to do things. So I apologize for that. However, I'm going to have to save that for next stream whenever I do work on something. Um, hope we can actually stay because uh, I'm actually in substance myself. Cool. Um, what does this substance painter thing do? So what this thing does is it, it, it's just exactly what it says. Uh, if you guys saw the, uh, Orion pistol I made a while ago, <coughs> um, you would have seen that I also use substance painter for that, but just as an experimentation thing. So what this does is it's a texturing tool. This is a tool strictly for painting 
on your objects and giving it a texture but because the substance it's a um it's like a uh you can over overlay a bunch of different textures you can tile them up you can mesh them there's a lot of different things that you can actually do with this tool and because i haven't ex exactly used it a whole lot myself i can't tell you all the uh neat little tricks and uh trades that I had, um a master of substance could actually tell you but I just know that this is a powerful tool for texturing and I hope that this can probably solve my problem when it comes to texturing this entire terrain without having to Photoshop save a file export it bring it back into Maya reload it see something that's wrong go back into Photoshop see if I fix it up and because this is this is all live this is all like you know streamlined because I can see this object right in front of me I can paint on something there it is, and then I can undo stuff, you know, immediately. It's just so fast working with a tool like this. Um, been looking forward to this. Hey, Gooey, uh, please tell me you caught the reference. Been looking forward to this. Hmm. No, I'm sorry. It's over my head. See, so you're on Twitch. What's your name on it? Uh, right now it is Steve the Mitochondria. I actually switched it from to Flying Ninja the other day, and I'm thinking about. Like, I, I don't use Twitch all that much. I've been using YouTube strictly for, you know, this kind of uh, stuff. But again, I'm thinking about using Twitch for gaming and because it, like, you know, it deletes your video like 14 hour, hours afterwards or something, or 14 days after that or something like that. I can't remember. <coughs> and I don't, really, I don't really like that whenever I'm working on stuff and somebody wants to actually go back and figure out what I did or how I did it. So... Without further ado, I think I want to jump into this and try to figure out what the heck I'm going to be doing. Um, let's see here. So I know I need, I know I need a um, a texture to import. I need to add a layer, and this is going to be a thing here. Add a bitmap mask, maybe. I'm going to be stumbling across this thing. So you're again, you're going to have to for forgive me because I'm going to be relearning this thing. Uh, open example, no. <coughs> Import resources, that is something I need to do. Um, add resources and desktop. I'm going to go to this vegetation folder that I've had. I've been working on the, um, whatchamacallit, uh, amphitheater project for a while. And you can see some of the um, things that have been working on some grass and trees, some lily pad, uh, the flower for it, uh, more grass, just different types of it, resolutions, all that. Um, cool, undefined. <coughs> what is this color? Environment texture. This is, hmm, this is so weird. I think, I think I just want to have it as a texture. Okay. Import resources to current session import. Excellent. So, what I want this to be then. Mm hmm. Invert mask note. I want. What is this? Add mask. Add layer. Add a fill layer. Smart material. Maybe if I imported my resources, it would have gone to my smart material. Um. Then again, if I called it a texture, then it should have been a, a texture label. Hey, hey, my dude. Hello, Joseph. How's it going? Uh, what's your tw just name again? Uh, I've been looking for this. Uh, uh, Run into the Sith, yeah. Uh, and this is where the fun begins. Where is... This is where the uh, extremely boring session begins because <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. I need, I guess maybe I'll add a fill, fill layer. And with this fill layer, where's this material? Color. I don't want a height, don't want a rough, don't want a normal. I want a color, base color. And this texture, there we go. I wish I could filter these out. If it's right. Oh, there is my dirt texture. 
Bam. Look at that. Oh my goodness. Okay. I I am moving. We are moving along, my dudes. Check this out. All right. I'm going to add another layer. And this, again, I'm going to go to my materials here. Where did I go to my materials? Oh, wait, no. I need to add a fill layer. That's right. Fill layer. So no height, no rust metal, no normal color material mode. I'm going to go directly to, wait, nope. Not material mode. Base color. I'm going to go to my texture. And I'm going to find my grass. There it is. There's my grass. And I'm going to delete this layer, this layer, because I realize now that those are layers that I do not need. Uh, and let's add a fill layer. No height, no normal, rough metal, base color. And I'm going to find my rocks. Okay, grunge, grunge, nope. Perlid noise, why is this so small? Okay. I mean, you can see all these tools. There it is. All these cool looking tools here. Cool. I actually like how the geometry looks at the moment. I mean, it was hella detailed earlier, but it was also redonkulously detailed. Like, it was unnecessarily detailed. Like, if I was in mine and I clicked on this thing, the entire thing would have been green because there's so many polygons. Um, earlier, I was working on this again, and um, it was like four, like over four billion. Um, no, not four billion. More, more like four million polygons, and I narrowed it down to three hundred thousand. And I think that should be all right for this terrain. Uh, let's see here. So I want this to repeat, and I believe what I had on Maya was a hundred. So let's try that. So that is now repetitive to 100. However, it looks like the resolution on this is pretty not good. So what I might have to do is redo a uh, redo the canvas or projection or something like that. Your production triplanar. What is this? That kind of helped. <laughs> the train has arrived. Oh, what am I doing? That's the other thing I forgot. Good lord. Music. There we go. So long, um, get to hear your sexy voice. This isn't going to be uh, boring. Well, thanks. <coughs> All right, let's see here. I definitely want to change this resolution because I'm not liking how that is. Um, is it project configuration settings. No, project configuration. Yeah, be careful. One of them. Yeah, yeah. Plugins, viewport, window, mode, painting, rendering, undo, filtering, project configuration, file, open sample, file. Hmm, I might have to figure something out here. Hmm. I'm going to try to do a new real quick. So, is it really maximum 4096? Okay. And that's what I had earlier. That's a big sad cancel. I'm going to cancel out of that. Ah, man. That is upsetting. Actually, you know what? Let me Let me try something here. 50... So let's actually not look at the rocks. Let's look at the grass real quick. Let's look at the flowers. 80 maybe. Yeah, this is going to be way too, way too blurry for what I'm looking for. That's unfortunate. Big sad. Oh, man. You know what? Can I... Please, no. I only have these these drop down. Okay. Hmm. I can't. I can't. 
That's that's ridiculous. I'm dealing with uh, these colors here. Hell, I might have to just work in Photoshop because these don't want to uh, cooperate. That's hmm. There needs to be a better way for this then. Because right now I'm running out of ideas. I can't have a texture like this that's too blurry. Big mesh maps, the 3D neighbor, UV space neighbor. Um, texture set list, main shader. I'm going to look something up for, here real quick. So, substance. Algorithmic export at higher resolution. Algorithmic. Hmm. What I might have to do. What I might have to do. No, again, that's not going to work. Unless. Hmm. What I might. Yeah, I think what that. I think that just might have to happen. What I might have to do is split this into four parts, or maybe more. I need to split this map into chunks, and then edit every single one so that it can fit the resolution on the um, on the the desired chunk. Because otherwise, I cannot deal with uh, this type of resolution. I think that just might what I have to do. High subdivide polymodel uh, hype train has arrived, fellas. <laughs> High subdivide model export from Maya. I mean, technically, but um, th I think that this is the uh, this is the low resolution that I exported or. Theoretical low, low, lower poly because again I, I was I had this at like four million, and uh, and uh, I got it down to um, three hundred thousand. So I'm actually going to I'm going to see if I can open this up real quick because I'm going to discard that real quick just because we have to anyways. And let's see here, two point five, and that is not where I put it. Okay. I'm going to open up Maya. We're going to uh, find that file and we're going to have to split it into pieces. Ah, there it is, actually. I don't know why I opened up a new one. Oh well, we'll wait for that one and then open up a new one. Oh, because it's part of the baking process. I do that when I'm using substance. Mm, okay. I want to watch these streams and more other tricks for 3D animation stuff. Plus, I might get into 3D myself if I had a capital. Of, if I had the capital, of course. Hmm. <coughs> the capability? I don't know. Okay. Opening up this file. One point three, one point zero three gigabits. No, I don't care, Steam. Get out of here. So right now we are loading the uh, the scene at the moment, and eventually it'll open up to the actual scene, and you'll actually see the atrocity that I'm dealing with. So this is actually a lessened. This is actually less than uh, what I had earlier. Um. And you can just see all the polygons, all the details into it. Just, it's it's ridiculous. It's too much. It's unnecessary. So, I'm actually going to hide these two. And then I'm going to bring this over. 
uh, where actually is the, you know what? I can do this. There it is. Cool. So, so that's our grid. I just want to bring this right over here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to make two subdivisions on both. And from this, I'm going to see if I can extrude. I wonder if this is actually a good idea. I don't know. We're going to figure it out. Extrude just these. Ah, there we go. Cool. So, with that in mind, this can come over here. And then we're going to shrink this down quite a bit. Let's actually D V. Oh, no. Hello. D. Hold V. And we're going to hold V again. Snap that to there. And just shrink it on down as much as we can. I'm pretty sure this is not the process that should be taken. I'm just doing what I think is an okay idea. Okay. And I'm going to modify center pivot and snap it to the center here. And uh, we're gonna we're gonna lower this down. Maybe shrink it just a little bit. <coughs> <coughs> so, if this does not work, then we can try this again on a better on a better uh, scale. Instead of four, we'll go into eight bits or eight chunks. That we're gonna find that out here in a second. I'm going to duplicate this, move it to the side, and save before I do anything at all. And we're going to click on our geometry as soon as this is done saving. We'll click the next geometry that we're going to use it as a cutting board. And then, uh, yeah, it's going to it's going to get sliced. We're going to use a Boolean. Capital money. Oh, okay. You and your internet slang over there. Mash Boolean's difference. And that should have deleted it entirely. That was a bad approach there. Uh, difference. Union. Intersection. Nothing. Okay. Well, I guess I'll just go... Um, hmm. Let's see here. Everything's indoors, right? Yes. Okay, cool. Is this, what is this? Is this a part of every, anything? Yes, it is. Everything is connected. Okay, that is connected, cool. Huh. Interesting. Modify free transformations, edit, delete all by type history. Select, select, mesh, boolean's difference. Something's happening. Oh, yep, it crashed. Look at that. Ha! Ah. I feel like I need a counter for every time that Maya crashes. It doesn't happen all that much, but... Um, big oof. Slap an F in the chat, boys. You know what to do. Oh my gosh. It flashed before our very eyes. Yeah. Let's see here. Oh, is this on loop? Yeah, let me shuffle. Whoops. There we go. Also, let me know if the music is way too loud, way too quiet, if I'm too loud, or if I'm too quiet.
There ain't no music. What? There's no music. All right, hold on. Hold on, my apologies. Good lord. Oh, no wonder. There we go. Okay. I am so sorry. I, I could have sworn that was going the entire time. I was just listening to myself. <laughs> my bad. Let's put that on a layer. I'm going to get rid of that and then bring these over here. That way, maybe if I do one at a time, it'll be all right. Okay. Again, I'm going to save. There's our jams. <laughs> the jelly and the jams. Oh, right. <clears throat> Let's see here. Mesh Bleen's difference. Brilliant. Union. Intersection. Nothing. Excellent. All right. Another idea. I'm just going to delete. Yeah. The mesh that we don't fucking need. <laughs> so I'm going to do that. Okay. It's going to be a little tricky. Let's start with this. Very interesting. We'll burn that bridge when we get there. Yeah, there's not much I can do about that here. Hmm. You know what? Let me do this. Why don't I just make a slice? No, not not the face. Get get over here. And then let's do up here. Slice downwards. Okay. Now, how we're going to find that in the midst of everything, I have no idea, but here's hoping. It actually works. There it is. Uh, maybe not. Hmm. You know, I'm just going to go with it, honestly. <laughs> Delete. And I'm going to duplicate, move this to the side. And delete. <coughs> All right. Now, move this back. Okay, and then Control Shift I. Delete. Mm. 
Okay, zero. Okay, delete. Hello. Okay. Nah, we're not going to see that part anyways. What is that? Alright, hold on. I don't like that. What? I thought I... Totally, um, hmm, got rid of that. All right, let's try this again. No. There we go. Okay, yeah, I should have seen this coming. Okay, let's see here. There is a piece of geometry in here that should snap to each other. And trying to figure out what that is, it's a little aggravating. Okay. I actually think that is the line there. Ah, uh, what? Okay. 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 That should have snapped. You'll know I have already snapped. Okay, that is clearly a disgusting line that we need to get rid of. Good lord. Why? Just gonna merge that inwards. I'm just not gonna not gonna worry about that. It just doesn't exist. All right, next time or next part. There we go. Music is a bit quiet. Is music actually quiet for you guys? Good news, Mother Nature finally got over her menstrual cramps. Oof. Uh, P.S. The storm is gone. Uh, rip storm. What was that? Did you get the chance to get yourself a copy of Borderlands 3 yet, Steven? I have not, and I think I might actually have to uh, play some of that if um, if I do start streaming some games. Um, let's see here. I've been playing a lot of Over Overwatch lately. It's just been a game that I've been consistently going back to, getting upset with, leaving, and then coming back to it. It's just something that always drags me in. It's like Team Fortress 2, but on steroids. Okay. Let's try to get rid of these. Okay. 
Ahem. Hmm. Really? Let's see here. Let's actually save these. Delete those. That's rather clean. Run that. Do I want these? Okay. I do. All right, actually, that should be good. Cool. And I'll figure out that problem right there in a little bit. That should have snapped perfectly fine. There might be some geometry, but that can all be replaced with the trees. Barely, barely. I think it'll be fine, though. I think you'll forgive me. <clears throat> Alright. Duplicating that. Moving it aside. And I'm going to... Put that up. And... Put this on a layer. Hide it. Not going to worry about that. Cool. And let me just snap this off here. Alrighty. Okay, that seems pretty decent. Cool, I'm going to... I'm actually going to see if I can't duplicate this. Move it to the side. Face, cool. Delete. Face, control shift, I, delete. And then that way we can just move this on back. Should have done that with the other one, huh? Alright, cool. So. We have our four pieces here. Uh, I think what I want to do is I want to redo these, get rid of them, and then delete. Nope, hello. Delete. All right, this is going to be chunk one. This is going to be chunk two. This is going to be chunk three. And it's going to be chunk four. All of these can be modified, free transformations, edited, leave all, all by type history. And I think what I want to try to do is export all these as an FBX. So hopefully this will register as four objects instead of one. And so I can replace it as terrain. I'm not going to embed media. don't have anything for it. Yes, replace it. What is that? What, no, no module name. Okay, well... Let's see here. I'm going to try to do that again real quick because I don't like how that brought up an error. Desktop 2.5 terrain 001 export. Cool. All right. Let's go back into substance.
And we're going to wait for that to load. I'm going to check my notifications here. Let's see here. All right, we're going to close this thing. We're going to open up a new file. We're going to slap that down as a 4096, import our stuff, and that's going to be terrain001. And hopefully that should register as four different objects. Create a texture, reset, no, import cameras, no, compute tangent space per fragment. Uh, yes? I don't know. Uh, import mesh, normal maps, bake maps for all materials. No. Add. All right, what is this? Cool. This is our entire geometry. Is this what I'm supposed to be looking at? Um, okay, let's see here. Uh huh. Mode. Hmm, something is not right. I'm not sure what exactly it is. I think it might have been that one button that I said I don't know about. What is this? A shelf? No. Display settings. Shader settings. History. Log. What shaders parameter is? Still don't know what most of those starting options do though. I have no idea. Again, I'm just jumping in here. So actually I'm gonna I'm gonna try to do this again real quick. Uh new and again. So these are your these are your output settings. So PBR is physically based rendering, and that is your metallic roughness. That that is your you have your uh color map, your normal map, your specularity, or no, uh that's your um Roughness and metallic uh, maps. Those are different, by the way. Um, your um, it, it's a bunch of different maps, and that's basically what we're using for this uh, bit because that's what we're going with. It's something that has color shininess, uh, but at the moment I'm not gonna deal with those maps. It's all about color right now because I'm just trying to figure out how I can get these um, maps from Substance to Maya. Uh, the document resolution. There is 128, 256, 512, 1024, 2048, 4096. This is just your document resolution. Of course, the higher resolution, the more detail you're going to have. And that's what we're going with because it's a huge environment that we are dealing with. Compute tangent space per fragment. I'm going to say yes on that because I think that's right. Um, <coughs> import mesh, normal maps, baked for all map materials. No. I don't know. I have no idea. Uh, automatic sign material name normal. Oh, you know what? Hmm. I don't know if that was it. Something's definitely not quite right with my either my export or my import settings. Let's try this again. Discard. Okay, this is our entire... Uh, thing as well here maybe undock no paint paint all right hmm okay does not tell me much all right I'm gonna try to do something do or do this again and I'm gonna close Discard. Um, hmm. How would I export selection? At reference options, default file extensions, include options, specific geometry smoothing groups, tangent by normals, yes, smooth mesh, selection sets. I'm not sure if that's it. Uh, convert null objects, preserve instances. Uh, reserve reference assets content mm -hmm. herbs no triangulate no split per vertex 
Bake animation. There's no animation to bake. Curve filters, constant key reducer, no. Geometry cache, no. Constraints, lights, cameras, bed media, connections. There's no really connections here. Advanced options, unit access, XBX format, binary, yeah, 2013, yep. Hmm. What is the deal? I feel like there's something missing, but I don't know quite what it is. Huh. What is the deal here? You know what? I think I know what it is. So, the material, Lambert. Because I think it was based on the material that it was. And this is shrunk one. Oh, wait. Hold on. One. This is going to be a new material. Lambert chunk underscore two. New material. Lambert chunk underscore. Oh, hello. Chunk underscore three. And again, Lambert. This is chunk underscore four. So hopefully that registers the. Uh, Different meshes, different mesh with the terrain involved. Okay, expert selection, replace it. Okay, yeah, that seems legit. I think that's what it was. File new. Select terrain. Okay, yep. Mesh files, yes. Create a texture set. You know what? I think I'm going to try that. Uh, compute space per object, yes. Let's try that, see if that does anything, just in case. And I'm looking at the same thing here. All right. Huh. Object, perspective view, free rotation. Something is not quite right. Viewport, show entire mesh. You know, I'm gonna just start having at it, see what happens. Fill layer. Oh, you know what I didn't do? Shoot, I should have thought of that. Damn. All right, I know. I know what the problem. I know another problem is actually. It's not that problem, or it's not the same thing. But the other problem is, all these UVs are not uh, in a, are not where they should be. So they're all split up, which is, I mean, that's kind of how it should have been because that, you know. Anyways, what we need to do is we need to in Increase the size of the UV map so that it can actually fill the space because the resolution is so tiny we need to actually bump that up in order to compensate for it okay so that's one oh, hello okay that's coming with us cool I feel like I should know what I'm doing sometimes. I hope I uh, am doing the right thing. I'm just kind of going with it. Okay, so we have our four pieces. We have our four materials. We have the UV in the right set. I think that's how it was now. Um, let's try to do that again. Or, you know what? Maybe it was group. Hold on. Let's do this as a new group. Uh, gosh. Okay. Unparent that. This is going to be our new group. 
Okay, file, export selection. This is gonna be, yeah, uh, it could just be terrain zero zero one. Doesn't matter, because we're going through a bunch of different things. You know what? No, this is gonna be terrain zero zero two. Heck it. Heck it. File new. Let's do terrain zero zero two. Import. Create a texture set per UDIM file. Uh, 496 compute change of space per fragment, I guess. Uh, import normal maps and bake maps for all materials. I'm still not sure if that's what it was. Okay. Alright, now. Let's do fill layer real quick. And in this fill layer, we don't want height, rough, metal, um, and normal. Let's do a base color and let's just slap on our grass. Yeah, maybe I can actually. Does this even work? All right, it does not. Uh, let's see here. Or at least I don't know how to use it. I passed it up, I'm sure. Oh wait, do I need to re-import it? I think I do. Huh. Alright, uh, that's another thing. Import resources, add resources, desktop, and let's go down to that vegetation. Do dirt texture. Uh, yeah, I'll import that grass too. Cool. And these are all texture because I think that's how I had it earlier. And resources removed. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Current session import. Cool. Now I can look this up and hopefully grass. Ah, there it is. It actually works. I can do things. Look at that. You're going places. Okay. 50. Uh, I think I did something. It definitely looks a lot better than it was. I'll tell you that much. Mm, 40. 25. Good lord. That is still a bad resolution, my dudes. It's not good. Not having it. Ah, oh, man. No, because this is actually supposed to be a huge road. And because the uh, the road is so blurry like this, it's just, it's just not good. Ah, oh, man. That is upsetting. That's very upsetting. What I might actually have to do, make sure. In your honest self observation, how fast can you learn this sort of stuff, the 3D stuff? I mean, in my honest observation, uh, honest self observation, I've been learning this shit for seven years now. I think, my this might be the eighth. I don't remember, but um, it all really fucking depends on your effort, on your um, resource ability. If you want to learn something, if you know how to use that Google machine, if you just don't know what certain words are, you just look up that word, you understand how to how to use it. It's very much like a dictionary, you know? You just kind of look through things. Oh, what does this word mean, you know? It's your ability to take information, look at it, do the same thing, and then repeat it in order to uh, mem remember it. Um, if you're talking about 3D stuff in general, again, I've been looking at stuff, or I've been doing the same kind of thing for like seven years at this point, and I wouldn't say that I'm nearly as uh, good at the level as I would be if I only focused on one thing. I've been scatterbrained for as long as I can remember and trying to figure out what I want to do and trying to uh, learn different things because I want to do this thing, but this thing requires so many different things within that thing. It's a huge category of subcategories, and these subcategories have subcategories in, in, within them. So it's like trying to know 3D stuff 
is such a such a chore to try to think about okay I want to master this well then you gotta you gotta understand this 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 there's a lot of things that you need to figure out and there's a lot of things that you need to understand in order to say well I'm good at this now and even then I'm still learning shit like look at this <laughs> I'm still still trying to figure out what the hell substance is I haven't touched it and I'm still trying to figure out what the deal is I mean I've textured <coughs> one thing in substance and I'm still trying to figure out what uh, what the deal is with why these uh, these objects are not doing what what they should be doing I think what I might actually do is create a um, create another texture in order to increase this resolution so instead of using um, whew, instead of using substance to increase the resolution, I'm going to use Photoshop to increase the resolution of that specific texture. So then it can increase the resolution on the um, the uh, the substance piece. Uh, I'm I'm spouting the same word five times. Let me let me just do this real quick. <coughs> Vegetation grass, grass texture. Dude, you sound like Houdini, the software. <laughs> it's and Houdini. Houdini's another thing I've been trying to freaking learn. This is not what I'm looking at. Okay, hold on. Uh, anime ground. That's what it was. My bad. I was trying to paint that earlier, and it's like it was not working well. Okay. Uh, cool. So, let's see here. What I want to do is... Oh, yeah, right. Okay. So those are rocks. Yeah, okay. This is ground. So, what I want to do... This is color dodge. So, this is all one of these. Okay, and does that affect anything? No, it does not. Does it affect anything? No, it does not. Okay. This is all going to be duplicated into a new project. Duplicate layers, new, and this is just going to be, I don't care. All I really want to do from this project is increase the resolution. So what I'm going to do is increase the canvas size and pixels. This is 1024. We're going to make this baby 4096 by 4096. And by doing that, so we have all this space to work with now. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to merge these layers. And I'm just going to duplicate move it to the side. Because that's basically what this is. It's a seamless texture. You can snap it to each other. And... <coughs> okay, cool. That means that you can just tile it through infinity. And it should look nice. Yeah, you're going to eventually say, say oh yeah, I can see the actual... Uh, tiling of the texture and my program has stopped functioning at the moment so I'm gonna I'm just gonna wait for something to happen there we go okay so this is our 4096 texture I'm just going to save that as a JPEG um, here grass texture 4096 okay now now that this is a thing, let me try and do this again. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to import my resource again. And I'm going to import that 4096 texture. So with that in mind, current session. Oh, wait, hold on. Cancel. This is going to be a texture. Import. That's going to be imported. And now we have a new texture. Bam. Look at that. Okay. And it still looks gross. That is upsetting. Oh, wait. Actually, hold on. No, yeah. Still gross. It's a big sad. That would be an ideal area right there, but it's like the, the texture is so freaking small here. So again, what this means is that I need to take apart the chunks that I already have, and I need to make them even smaller, like I said before. Uh, all right. This is something I did not want to do. 
So what I, I guess I'm going to try to do here is instead of this huge chunk. Uh, fillers are not paintable. Create fill. No, I don't. I don't care. Uh, material. Base color. That is upsetting. That should mean PNG? Question mark. Eh, JPEG's not that bad. PNG's okay. But, um... Oh, yeah. I, I, I typically only use PNGs when it comes to a, um... Transparent texture now. <coughs> but because this grass is not transparent, it doesn't need to be a PNG. Just reduce file size by that much. It's a little bit, but it's not, yeah. Alright, so that was upsetting. Um uh, sorry you guys had to watch through that. What is the deal? Did I really just take a render shot? I did not want to do that. Okay. The train has arrived. Undo scale. Project configuration. There should be. You know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna try something real quick instead. I'm just gonna export those four chunks individually. Um Yeah. Does that mean I can hold on. Hold on. Import shaders, no. Hmm. <laughs> yep. Alrighty, let me try this. File, export selection. <laughs> Chunk one, smooth groups, yep, okay, cool. And file, import. I can't import <clears throat> I can't import the chunk. Big sad. Alright. Doing this all over again. Let's do this. Alright. Chunk one. Open. Uh forty ninety six of course and create a texture set. Yeah, I don't think that really matters. I don't think these really matter because it seems like it doesn't really do anything for us. Alright, no, discard. So we have our one chunk. Alright, I can already tell this is gonna be a better choice to do individually <clears throat> now so let's see I'm going to import my resources because I'm pretty sure they didn't re-import here I need to figure out how to do that eventually and I'm just going to import everything when it comes to the resolution and whatnot just to see what kind of uh, difference it is everything is a texture and this is all going to be for the current session import and with that, let's do a fill layer. Uh, no height, no rough, no metal, no normal. It's just going to do base color. It's going to be a 4096 texture. This is only one. This is already looking nice, my dudes. Let's freaking go. Uh, how about 20? Oh my gosh, why? Okay. This is getting a little bit more upsetting each time. I'm not sure why it wants to do this. I don't know. I guess I'll have to do deal with that. This is actually not that bad. But, I mean, still. I guess the idea across. Okay. Let's go with this. Yeah. This is not the resolution I wanted. This makes me upset. Okay. New layer file. Uh, layer 2. No height, rough, metal, normal. Color. Base color is going to be... Dirt. And I think that's actually reasonable. Cool. Um, maybe not. OK. 
Okay, there we go. I think that's all right. <clears throat> cool. All right. It's big brain time. So, great paint layer. And so this means uh, I need to, oh wait, no, I need to add a mask. White mask. Actually, no, I'm gonna add a black mask here. And my hardness is gonna be zero. Rescale. There we go. Okay. You're in business, my dudes. Okay. And eventually what I'm going to do is I'm going to have a noise map if I can. And here oh hello uh tiling no tiling what cool Okay, I need like another type of dirt here. It's just not quite the same. Okay. Alrighty, and I know I want the these. Let's see here. Is dirt. Okay. <clears throat> Let's try this real quick. All right. What is this? The add effect. Compare mask levels, fill, add paint, add generator. Generate noise. Hmm. Dirt. Oh, hello. Oh, wait. No, I, I don't want that. Hmm. No. I don't want any of that. Okay. I legitimately don't know what I want to do with this now because the the texturing just it has me thrown off here. But I guess I'll I guess I'll add the rock. Dwayne Johnson. Okay. Let's try to do something here. Mm 
<clears throat> oh, well, that's not what I wanted. Fill, add levels, and compare mask filter. That sells crystal. Let's try. You know what? We should be. We should try curvature, actually. Curvature. See if that does anything. Okay, attributes. Let's see here. Image inputs curvature. What? Okay. Okay. Let's base normals. Let's base normal not found. Can I generate it? Yeah, I feel like this isn't working actually. Uh, let's see here. See anything happening with these? Hmm, that is unfortunate. All right, uh, position gradient. Let's see here. I don't think that does anything for me. This is it's upsetting. Hmm. What I might have to do is actually take the chunks of, um, <laughs> oh man, this is going to be so janky, but what I might have to do is take the actual chunks of like, you know, the road and take the, um, the, the hills or whatever. And I might have to actually export them, um, like, I mean, or delete, you know, it, it's going to be, it's going to be so weird, but man, I think that might be the only solace in this situation because right now I can't seem to figure out what the deal is with, um, one, the resolution and, uh, two, <coughs> trying to get any kind of uh, curvature to actually work how it should. Uh, what I might, tr 
Hmm. I need to let's see your export mask file. No, no, no. And generator. No. Okay. Um add a smart material. Let's try this. And let's just look up look up grass. What kind of grass they have. They don't have any grass. Um hmm. Alright, let's do something a little bit obvious. Um let's do aluminum. Okay. I'm gonna move it to the top just to see what it can do with um Yeah. Just to see what it can do with uh, the other what was it? If I can jeez. There we go. So I have my aluminum at the very top. It's brushed, worn, and uh, it's look at this. this is this is nice. Everything in the future is chrome, right? That's that's how we got to do this. Everything is shiny. That's what that's that's how we want it. Uh, let's see here. Why is my resolution at that? Okay, cool, neat. All right, cool. Uh, I'm gonna try to refresh that page real quick, and then I'll jump back in here <clears throat> interesting okay let's see here we have brushed worn and I want to generate a oh wait this is a group scratches UV projection bilinear repeat UV wrap repeat is that important Actually, let me look at grass. Nearest. Ah, I see. Man, that is it's upsetting. Huh. Really? Am I... Something is not going on. No, something is not, hap not happening right here. Error. I have an error here. Something is not happening right. Hold on. Why is this... What happened? Something is happening. Okay. I think I'm back here. There we go. Okay. It's a bit of a ways away. Interesting. I'm not sure why. Alright. Let's see here. Um... All right, nothing I can really do about that, I suppose. Guess I'm just going to work ahead. Okay, so this needs the effect. Add generator. Curvature. I think what I don't have is generated curvature in order to actually display these things. How do I fix that?
Put stuff out for a while for a bit. Uh, what do you? What did you do to get the fill to get a fill layer again? So what I did in order to get a fill layer is, I, is this icon right here looks like a paint bucket that's tipped over in a plus sign. It's in between the circle and the stack of papers. This is just add fill layer. That's what you click on for it. Hmm. What does this do? A substance share, share website. This is export to Photoshop. This is resources updater. Uh, substance source. This is rather upsetting. Hmm. Uh, let's see here. Hmm. What the fuck is this? Physical paint? Really? Wow, that's interesting. It's a little magical. All right, let's try and go a little bit uh, velocity scale stencil. What's over here? All right, uniform color. Hmm. What even is that? That is so silly. Okay, so velocity scale. I guess it creates some noise here. That is so interesting. No, that is not a Ruby score playing. The stream is so far behind. Oh, wait, actually, here. Why is it so far behind? That's so weird. The hell? What the hell? What's going on here? Okay, there we go. What the fuck was that? So, this right here seems to be a physical paint. Uh, thing. So what this means is it cre it generates or e emits particles, and uh, that seems to be inter like hardness here. I don't want any kind of hardness. It's interesting. Lifetime should not have should not be that long. Okay, I'm gonna try that. So it seems that this uh, generates a, ba a noise based on particle emissions. That is so interesting. I'm just kind of gonna play around with this, to be honest. Jeez. So. <laughs> that is so cool. It's unfortunate though, I feel like I'm not going to be able to do much with uh, with doing this in 
substance. Big sad. Man. You'll understand why, though, because it's like, this resolution is absolute shit. This is terrible. It should not be in, um... It should not be visible from this uh, angle at all. The rocks are actually pretty god-awful, too. But, um... Man, that is... That's upsetting. Let me actually show you what I mean here. So, if I open up Maya, and let's, um, let's just kind of select some stuff here. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna casually select some stuff, and hopefully it'll land right. I'm just gonna increase my uh, selection with that, and... Ah, uh, shit. Uh, that. Let's do these, these, these. Okay. So, let me say this is going to be my dirt. So, I'm a tier, new material, Lambert. I'm going to come over here. This is going to be file. <coughs> um... Vegetation grass, and it's going to be my dirt texture. <clears throat> and just for keepsake, I'm going to label this chunk as the grass. Grass texture. There we go. So, it's very clear, right? It's very, um, it's very much clear. So, I think I had 100 earlier. And 100. So, you can zoom in as, as much as you want. But that will be as clear as day. The resolution will not decrease because it's tiled. And that's what I wanted to do with substance. But it seems like that's not what it seems to be able to do at the moment. Let me see here. Hold on, y'all. Hold on. There we go. Alright, cool. Hey guys, what's going on? Is this stream actually holding up for you guys? Because it seems like something keeps on happening every now and then. Okay. And I'm just going to come over here and do the same thing 100 to 100 actually that's a bit much that's a little overkill let's go a little bit less here uh 40 40 and it's like you can see the difference it's like it shows the the detail yeah, you can see it clearly tiling and whatnot, but the point was to use substance in order to tile it, but also make it look nice by merging the uh, the textures here and there together. But I feel like that's not going to be possible, and I'm a little upset about it. <clears throat> it's a big, sad... Oh, man. Alrighty, well. Shit. I'm sorry to uh, to lead, lead you guys into an unsuccessful stream. I guess uh, you learn something new every day here. But, um... I feel like that's exactly what I might have to do here, and... I'll have to get back to you guys whenever I can about um, figuring out what I want to do here. But I feel like that's exactly what I might have to do. I don't know if I actually want to uh, continue this stream or open up another one. It feels like something keeps on going around. Gonna be or be you leaving soon? I don't know, man. I honestly don't know because it feels like it's uh, not doing too well here. 
but um, I feel like um, I might have to make some different textures and then figure out if that's going to be able to work or not. Because I, I definitely don't want this to be like this if, um, if we're going to have a bunch of uh, tiled looking stuff and tiled looking textures. I want it to look nice, you know? I want it to, to, ha to be clear and I want it to have good tiling. But I also want it to be able to shift over, you know? Uh, or blend with the other textures like it should. What I might have to do is just what I'm doing right now is I'm just selecting individual faces and I'm just going about my business just freaking okay I'm gonna I'm gonna slap that with a, a different texture but it's like it just because of the tiling it just doesn't blend. So I guess another thing what I might have to do is, man, I don't know, because if I, shit, I might have to open up a, a whole ass Photoshop file just to figure out the resolution, make a master file resolution to export and um, put onto this thing, because I feel like that's what I might just have to do. Ah, you know what? Hold on. Hold, hold, hmm. I have an idea. I have an idea. I'm not sure if it's going to work, but I have one and I'm going to try it. I haven't used subs or I haven't used Quixel in a while either. So there might be updates. <coughs> Let's see if it'll actually work. Is the stream actually looking good for you guys? I can't tell. Let's see here. Uh, okay. Okay, cool. So this actually freaking recognizes one, two, three, and four chunks. Uh, material ID, I'm not going to deal with that. Um, resolution, let's bump this up to... Let's see how high we can go here. That seems about right. Let's try that. Because I honestly feel like that's the uh, best case scenario here, the highest that we can go. And, yeah, uh, material ID, normal, no, 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 we don't have any of these, we don't need them. Um, ID pre preset, there's no preset, uh, we're going to export this as <coughs> uh, PBR default, speculate PBR default, because that's the fewest, I think. 16 bits per channel, no, we don't need that. Okay, 2.5 terrain, and let's create this thing. Yeah, let's, yeah, let's make some, bake some maps here. <laughs> oh, let's see here. Hopefully this works. We will see in just a second. All right, so we can see the terrain above us. It, we already know that it recognizes the um, the different bits. Oh, you know what I didn't recognize? Ugh, man, shit. Might be another problem. I don't know, but it might be. But um, because we have the textures on top of each other, couldn't find any maps. Uh, sure, fine. 
So what might happen is the curvature might be baked incorrectly because we have maps on top of, of maps within an FBX. But again, I don't know. We're going to have to figure out until or we're going to have to wait until this thing is done with all these baking, uh, these maps to bake. <clears throat> He's creating a new project. <laughs> All right, it is preparing masks. I'm gonna click off real quick, look at some things. If this actually comes out nice and not like a piece of shit, then hopefully we can use Quixel Painter in order to, um, or Quixel in Photoshop in order to paint this thing. Eventually, when it gets done. <laughs> I mean, we can see the progress bar is going, so that's a good thing, right? Actually, guys, this is the program itself. It's just prog progress bar simulator. Oh, boy. Is this done yet? Jeez. I mean, I guess it is 16K. But still, shit. Oh my god. This is so dumb. We all know where the Big Apple is, but does anyone know where the Mini Apple is? Minneapolis. Yeah, it's, it's, a, it's a place, guys. Alrighty, so we have nothing on our screen right now. Let's change that. I'm going to bring in that. Uh, let's just slap down some grass real quick. And yeah, I'm just going to slap down this grass. If I can. There we go. Wait, really? No, get that out of here. Albedo. And to bring this again in here. Like a layer. Why are you like this? Alright, duplicate. It's going to Albedo. Oh man, okay. No. No. Get 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 out of here. Okay. Let's go to chunk two. Or is it chunk one? There it is. Alright, cool.
All right, cool. Let's go into three do see what we're, what we're looking at here. Hopefully it doesn't crash anything. Last time I checked, this does take a lot of processing power. All right, come on. Come on now. Three do not responding. Terrific. Come on now. Let's try this again. Why? Why are you doing this, 3 do? Oh my gosh. Oh, oh snap. It worked. It worked. We have movement, and we also have some uh, some awkward-looking baked maps. I think, I think that what ha that's what happened. Cool. All right. Cool. Um, neat. All right. Let's see if we can't downsize our 3D map here real quick. All right. I'm gonna duplicate this and. I'm going to scale it down. <coughs> oh my gosh. Actually, actually, wait, hold on. Hold on. I can't cancel. Cancel. Holy shit. Okay. Let's bring out the rulers. We got the rulers. Sure as hell take their freaking time. Okay, get rid of the rulers. Cool. That is, let's try this again. Where is my three do? Alrighty. Refreshing three do. Again, this is, I don't think this actually refreshed shit. Interesting. Let's try this again. All right. Come on, damn. It's taking forever to react. Shit. Alright, 3D is weird. But let's uh, see if you can't refresh it. Do it again. Wants to be like that. It's going to be rebellious. Mm. 
I can't tell if this is actually working or not. It seems like we've gone nowhere. Maybe, okay, maybe if I disabled one of these. All right, we are definitely doing something because those are definitely changing. Now, with that in mind, let me see if I can kind of scale this down a bit because I don't want to. I don't want to minimize it because if I minimize it, then it's going to act stupid. All right. Again, this should be pretty darn high quality, but let's do it again. Okay. Merging those. Now, if we, in, oh hello, actually, I'm gonna I'm gonna see if it does anything in real time here. Yes. Okay. Cool. Very cool. Unfortunately, it is pulling the same shit that substance was pulling. God damn it. Uh, why? Why does it got to do that? And then it's got to pull these weird baking things. Man, that is upsetting. Hmm. That is very upsetting. Damn it! I thought we'd have got we would have had something going here. Okay, I'm going to try this. I don't know what I'm doing, but I'm going to do it. And my grass. Okay. So now, does that mean? Okay. That means uh, add material. Custom materials. Anime grass. Now it should load a whole type of thing. There we go. Pattern overlay here. Okay.
That is a damn shame. I can't do anything about that. Ugh, alright. Hold on. Okay, no, yeah, I'm doing the same thing as I was earlier, but this time it's with the um, Quixel tools, which is, again, it's upsetting because I could have freaking sworn. Maybe if we make the image size bigger, this isn't, hmm. Let's try this. I'm going to break something here. Watch it. <coughs> so this is now the map size. All right, let's let's see if we can do something here. All right, this is relative Let's see if that does anything. So I just increased the canvas of the entire texture size on this albedo for chunk one. Hopefully what that means is the entire resolution is actually increased by four because I went from 4096 to 16,000 and hopefully you can actually register 16,000 uh, 16,000 by 16,000 and that way we can actually use it hello okay there we go ah that is sad kind of works kind of doesn't It, it looks so nice, though. It looks so nice from a, uh, a freaking... Ah, right there. It's like it's it's right in front of us. What if it was tiled by negative two, huh? Wait, did that not? I don't think that update. Oh, okay, there it goes. There it went. Hmm. Ah, uh, well, hmm. I think that's actually better than what we had earlier. I kind of want to try to see what happens with um, with the 32, though, just to see, you know. So, hmm, very interesting. Let's try to do that real quick. I'm gonna increase the canvas to 32,000. Uh, you know what? Let's go 24. I think 32 might be overkill. <laughs> I think 32 might be overkill. Oh, man. I'm surprised that Substance doesn't allow that unless it, it's just designed to be optimized for, um, like, basically everything. But I feel like that's so dumb. Because what if you just wanted to make a huge 
freaking map on one canvas. I just, I don't know. It sounds weird. <coughs> <coughs> Maybe it's just geared for characters and props. Characters, props, vehicles. see here how long we've we been going so far does it even say how long you've been going uh, hold on I'm actually getting called real quick Already, sorry about that. Work was calling about some kind of scheduling stuff for uh, future events and whatnot, and they just w wanted to make sure that uh, I had my availabilities down. Alrighty, let's see here. So, we just increased our uh, texture from 16 to 24. What I want to try to do is let's go down one. Okay. Nothing much. I'm kind of running into the same issues as Substance, but I think I have an idea. I'm not quite sure yet, but um, I'm going to try something here a little bit because what I realized is that there's... Oh, hello. What I realized is that I, because I increased the, camera, the image size, that also means I increased the... Um, I increased the size of the uh, <laughs> the thing. Gosh. Let's see here. So what I'm I'm trying to do here is I'm trying to make sure that um, I'm actually going to cancel that real quick. And so this can be scaled all the way down, which is great, but the problem is that it loses the quality. And I think that's because I actually I'm going to I'm gonna delete this. <laughs> yep, delete. Delete, yes, delete. Okay. Kind of work do you do? I do security at a pavilion. It's for mostly concerts and orchestras and shit. A material, custom material. It's got its ups and downs. Merging layers.
Okay, so I just re-imported the thing. Hopefully that means that it kind of reset it. So it's back to zero. If I go minus two, let's see what the resolution looks like. I'm definitely not enjoying this. It seems like the texture is still uh, low, as <laughs> low as can be. I mean, I can zoom in on this image as much as I want, and it's 24,000 by 24,000 at this point, but the problem is whenever it's uh, thrown out from the program to uh, Quixel and Substance, it just seems to be pixelating as much as it can I don't know why I'm not sure what the um, mesh centric I don't think it does anything to the texture ah uh, I am, I am running out of options here I'm trying to figure out how I can get this texture to be nice without having and blend the materials without having to do this bullshit where I'm actually selecting the um the fucking mesh in order to uh apply these textures because again what I have here is like it this can scale infinitely and have no texture loss or no resolution loss. This can scale infinitely have no resolution loss unless you're scaling upward, but I'm always scaling uh or no downwards. I'm only scaling upwards. Oh my gosh. Almost like a huntsman, LMAO. <laughs> See here. <coughs> oh my gosh. That is going to be annoying, though. I think that is exactly what I have to do, and I think that's exactly what I've been avoiding. And unfortunately, I've been trying to avoid this specifically so that I can have a better time texturing. Like, I just it look it would look so trash to do this. That looks as absolute trash. That's gross. I don't want to do that. It's disgusting. Ugh. <sighs> I wanted to use a tool that could use these things here and not have to worry about the resolution. I guess another something else I could probably try to do is plug this into Unity or Unreal and then get it to work and then export it from Unity and not Unreal, but that, I don't think that's going to work with a substance type of terrain it just doesn't I don't think that's gonna work out right <laughs> well without the cool flippity doos the cool flippity doos that's our, that's what every huntsman needs is the cool flippity doos guys there you go there you have it oh my gosh I'm just, man, I'm, I'm upset. Everything did not go as planned, and I thought I was going to learn a bit more sub about substance, and I kind of did in a bad way. Unless if I just didn't do the right thing, which is very much a possibility. And even trying to, to mess around with uh, Quixel, it seems like I didn't work out all that well <sighs> alrighty that is unfortunate I think 
I might actually have to call it here, my dudes. It's um, six o'clock right now. I need. I gotta feed the doggos. I gotta jump on something else. I gotta start working on something else. But um, I'm actually glad that we were able to figure out like these problems today, and um, hopefully we can look into a better stream next time when I know what the hell I'm doing. And maybe I can look into other solutions regarding world creation and texture resolution whenever these things actually want to uh, cooperate. Here, let me let me actually show you guys, though. Um, I'm going to get it all get out of all these. No, I don't want to. I don't I don't want to save that. There's no, nothing to save there. <coughs> Okay, let me see if I can't open up the world creator uh, profile here. Um, okay. Do you also know how to transfer textures between the materials? That's something that's like, I don't, I don't quite know. The only thing I can think about is there's some type of node that can share a noise and what this means is that you can have a noise for this texture and a noise for that texture and then it is somehow easily dis uh, distributed so that one of them is basically a mask to the other but again the problem is is that I don't have a, um, a map to actually display on which texture should go where i don't have something where it's like oh this is where the uh the grass texture should be this is where the dirt texture should be this is where the i don't have that so what i might have to do is create a mask layer in order to do that with a layered shader or yeah a layered shader or layered te texture and then layer those textures with those different masks but that's something I'd have to figure out how to do um, after the stream. I don't really want to deal with it right now. I want to show you guys what I have um, in here. If I can find it. Um, I'm trying to remember where I put it, actually. It's PC, yeah, I think. Users, even documents ah there it is world creator for his path it's such a dumb place to put th something for substance oh um to transfer textures between materials that's not something you necessarily do um i don't not not that i know of anyways so transferring materials I think what you mean is, so, okay, let me just show you real quick. You have a, a dirt texture right here, right? And then you have some grass. And there's a few different types of dirts in order to make a a, uh, a neat looking noise so that it looks natural, it doesn't look like it's tiled, right? So what I have here is like a noise that kind of goes throughout the, um, like the the edges of each texture like this actually goes from a slope it variate a variation or it has a variation on the slope and its opacity and whenever it gets to a flat type of um slope then it ceases and that's how i have like all these down here all this is um the dirt texture because that's what i wanted as a dirt road but um it seems like what I can't do is just that in um, in Maya Substance or Quixel. So I'm going to have to figure out some kind of way around that and figure out some kind of um, loop around it, I guess. This is not Quixel. This is World Creator 2. Uh, this is the program I actually used in order to create this terrain. And hopefully what I wanted to, to do in order to export it from here to Maya. But because it doesn't support FBX, it only supports OBJ and a couple of other formats, 
I can't just Lego snap this away from World Creator, bring this into Maya, and everyone is uh, happy. I have to figure out some kind of way in order to bring this whole environment into Maya, have it settled, have it, have the textures actually look nice, get the trees to actually work, have the rocks where they should be. Um, and yeah, it's just something that I'll have to eventually figure out. Again, what I might have to do is I might have to bring it into Unity and somehow export it from Unity into Maya in order to get it actually set up right. But I feel like that's going to have to be something that I do in another time. I, uh, I've i got I got to jump on out of here, my dudes. I have some messages I have to uh, attend to. There's nothing I need to save here. Yeah, I have a bit of programs and... Unfortunately, it seems like not one of them is doing the job that I want it to. But um, hopefully next time I'll have a better idea on what I need to do and what I can get done. I thought because I had the textures that I needed, that's all I really needed to do with substance. But it seems I need to look into uh, resolution and how to figure out what to do with that resolution. How to scale it down or up appropriately and how to um, export it from those programs into Maya accordingly. But um, hopefully, I guess it was more or less entertaining for you guys. I hope that you may or may, or may not have learned something from here. Um, I guess I'll have to see you guys next time. <coughs> but um, yeah, I, I guess that's going to be it, my dudes. Before I take off, do you all happen to have any questions, suggestions, um, whatnot? All that jazz. Uh, again, all this music was done by Cindy Sandoval, uh, Christian San Agustin, Danzer, and uh, Lance uh, Stelios, or Lance Milos, Stelios uh, Studios, I think, uh, or Milios Studios on uh, SoundCloud. And Christian San Agustin is Gwomsky on uh, Bandcamp. How's Blender coming along? I haven't touched it in a bit. I need to keep on poking at it with a stick and then hopefully I can get a fire going. Uh, what I need to do is I need to start up a project and what I might have, end up doing is bringing in Nix into Blender and start learning how to rig in Blender. Um, I have kind of an idea on how modeling works more or less, but it's all very, uh, it's all very alien to me still. So it's just a matter of trying to figure out what I need to do, how I need to learn it, and just watching tutorials and pressing buttons, honestly. Oh my gosh. Oh. Stuff and things. Things and stuff. But, um... Yeah, I think that kind of wraps up this stream, my dudes. Let's see here. I'm gonna... Come over here and swap this um, this uh, screen real quick. <coughs> I might actually change this screen to uh, "Thanks for stop for stopping by" because I've realized it says currently offline, which is a little contradictory because we're still streaming. But uh, we are definitely coming to a close on this stream. If you guys are not subscribed, please hit that subscribe button. If not, that's cool too. I understand. Have a good day. If you enjoyed this video, like it, dislike it, I don't care. If uh, you want to support us on Patreon, uh, look us up. We are Danger Noodle Animations. And any like we don't have any re rewards, but you can always look it up, slap down some money if you want to help out the team. We can always use it not in order to help us get some assets, build some environments, and get some shit done. Um, again, thank you guys for watching. Y'all take care and have a good one.